I see a lot of left liberals getting very upset about, oh, how can you not eat meat? And so you become as much fundamentalist as the other person. You know, why does this lynching happen? Was it actual hate or was it a political agenda? It was a political agenda. There has to be a sense of justice. No, if five lakh Kashmiri Pandit or Kashmiri Muslims or anyone had a problem, then that problem has to be addressed squarely. Whatever I need to say, I say through my films. I'm not like one of those Twitter activists. In a real life situation, say as a film director, your film is getting screened there and there are protests and riot-like situations. As a film director, how do you handle that? Say as a filmmaker, I don't want to create something. No film is worth a riot. No film is worth somebody's life, right? So I, and I deliberately don't sensationalize, right? And so I make films which uh, have, have a rational argument. I mean, I try to encompass the reality of what is happening in India through a kind of genre which simultaneously, it's a bad word also, somehow entertains. I mean, if you see it is in terms of just realism, I don't think you can get what is happening in India because half of what is happening is absurd, right? I mean, it doesn't stand to any logic. It's, it's some, sometimes if it weren't so tragic, it'd be quite comic. But I'd love to talk to people who pose, let's say, are in opposition to my film. You are a politically sensitive person. What is the kind of discourse you think you could have in a, say, a situation you're in? I would uh, always say, I don't give a damn about your dislikes. You can dislike me. You can dislike who you want. You can marry who you want. You can do whatever you want. I think you should just respect the other. That person's right to live that person's right to be who they are, that person's right to achieve their potential, that person's security. That's the lesson of Lucknow, I think, the, where I come from, where you kind of, uh, you know, sidestep problems. You don't argue about everything. I mean, if that person likes this, well, you know, he doesn't eat this. No, no, no. You're not arguing. I see a lot of left liberals getting very upset about, oh, how can you not eat meat? Doesn't want to, doesn't want to. You eat this, you eat that. I mean, so you become as much fundamentalist as the other person. I would research it a lot. I mean, if, if you say Manipur, then I don't know. I'm not from there. If you say, say, uh, UP, MP, North India, even Bengal, Lots of places I happen to know. I understand the complexity, but you know, Northeast, I would research a lot. I mean, what I'm trying to say in Appa also is don't react immediately. Doubt everything. Listen, research, confirm. Uh, let me be clear, I think that's, that, that's why I made the film like I did. See, there is one lynching or one case of something which is blown out of proportion by the social media and then used to create a hate. So I'm saying, you know, why does this lynching happen? And this one lyncher, what happened? Was it actual hate or was it a political agenda? It was a political agenda. There was, you know, what was happening there. Right, and then what happened to the lyncher? There are victims on every side. And, and sometimes the bullet sort of ricochets and comes at you, you know. I, I, am, I am in permanent dialogue, you know. I never stop talking to, I think one of the problems in India is that we stop talking to each other. I think there are genuine grievances. For example, a guy who came in 47 from in the, what, is, what is now Bangladesh or what is now Pakistan and lost everything, right? And um, saw his wife getting raped, you know. There's a grievance there. We never address that. And I think India needs to have, there is a lot of unfinished businesses and that memories transfer from grandfather to son to grandson. 
there has to be a sense of justice no if five lakh kashmiri pandit or kashmiri muslims or anyone had a problem then that problem has to be addressed squarely some redressal has to happen some justice has to happen as a film person suppose uh, you doing a politically sensitive film and you have an actor in mind and that actor wants to stay away from anything that is politically controversial then is there a is there a way that you can convince or would you make any kind of changes because of his position no i, I mean up to now i haven't changed any political position because an actor and i don't think any actors even ask me to you don't handle actors you work with them so uh, you listen to what they have to say and sometimes what they say makes sense but if i didn't agree with it or if i change something in the film just for convenience or just to make it more palatable i don't think i would do it no i mean filmmaking is not that conscious of course you know you can write a script and then say well, do i really need to say it this way i could say it this way you know i'm not here to uh, i'm here to provoke of sometimes i'm here to start a discussion i am if the facts of the matter disturb you then so be it i'm not here to insult are the real life situations in india right now affecting filmmakers or are they becoming much more braver or are they just backing off some are becoming braver some are backing off it just depends on the individual in the south of india every nobody backing off I mean, I, you know, even there are filmmakers like Ansel, Anurag, uh, uh, Anubhav. I mean, I mean, I'm sure people like even uh, Raju Irani. There are people who who make the films that they want to make, right? But the film industry, more or less, plays safe. My films are. are, are, are I made Hazaro Khwajah Si, which was a condemnation of the emergency. I made Ye Wo Manzil Tu Nahi in '87, which was a condemnation of. So I I I speak to my films. I made Chameli, which is a condemnation of the fact that our sex worker is not entitled, is not supposed to accept any customer that comes his way. She has a right to say no. I mean, whatever I need to say, I say through my films. I'm not like one of those Twitter activists. I condemn a lot of things, and I'm, I, if I seriously feel very strongly about it, I will make a film. So, is there anything in your mind right now? <laughs> I'm making a political satire. A, 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 a satire, a social satire, actually, not political uh, only. You know, it's about the, this is the absurdity of celebrity dumb. It's about uh, you know the fact that sub style and fame matters over substance.